Hey guys, welcome to my 37 week bump date. Three more weeks to go until I am at 40 weeks. Who knows when this baby's gonna come, probably after 40 weeks, honestly. And I'll tell you more about that uh, later in this video. For now, I'll tell you about baby. He is the size of a tackle box, which is, you know, um, what fishermen use when they are um, keeping all their supplies and they like go to fish. It has things like bobbers and hooks and bait and all that stuff. Now tackle boxes come in all different kinds of sizes, so I don't really know how you can compare it to that, but that's what my app says. He's also the size of a skunk, a honeydew melon, or Swiss chard. I don't even know what Swiss chard is, but Google it if you don't know either. So, um, like I said before in last week's vlog, baby's basically finished developing. He's really just putting on the pounds right now and beefing up and getting ready for birth. He's still creating that meconium, that first poop, um, and the only thing left to be developed is his digestive system, which of course will not be completed until he is outside and um, taking in milk and digesting that. His reflexes are really strong and developed, um, so that's kind of finished. He's also breathing in, taking practice breaths and breathing in amniotic fluid. Um, to get his lungs ready for the real world. So he's basically almost done. He is about 19 inches long and about six pounds heavy. So he's almost there. I mean, we're at the home stretch now. For me, um, my back continues to hurt. I think I pulled a muscle on my left side under my rib, which usually hurts. Um, I was trying to like hoist myself up to get into a higher area and I shouldn't have done it. When I hoisted myself up, like I could just feel like a pinch and I think it was just like me hoisting myself up and my belly dragging myself down and I think I pulled a muscle or something because it's like super, super sore. It really, really hurts. And so I've been um, wearing my belly band a lot more. I have it on right now. I'll show you when I do a bump shot. I'll show you I have my belly band on. It helps here and there. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. But yeah, my back still hurts a lot, especially when I'm driving or really just like sitting for long periods of time, unless I'm sitting like on the couch. A lot of times I sit on the floor with Gray to play with him and it's just really, really hard on my back. It's also really hard to get up from sitting on the floor as well. So I don't like to do it, but Grayson does like to have me close to him, especially when we are reading books together. He loves to read books. I forgot to mention this, and I wanted to make a note of this. Two weeks ago, I noticed this. I just forgot to uh, like put it in the vlog. I have started to develop that Linea line. I don't, it's called like Linea Nereva, I don't know. But it's just basically like the line that forms on your belly when you're pregnant. Um, it took a while last pregnancy to form. It didn't form until the end as well. And so this time it was from 37, two weeks ago. So 35 weeks I started to notice it. So it's not that noticeable, but it is there now. Um, but yeah, mine um, lines don't come until late in pregnancy. My heartburn's been pretty bad lately. I've had to take Tums here and there. Um, it acts up all the time, especially if I'm laying down. Um, it seems to be pretty bad, which, I mean, it makes sense. Um, so sometimes I can ignore it, and sometimes um, it's too much and I have to take Tums, but thankfully there are Tums for me to take. My sleeping has gotten worse the further along I get. It's so hard for me to find a comfortable position at night. Um, last night was really bad. I woke up like every hour. I had to pee or I couldn't get comfortable. Um, just different things. And so I'm super tired this morning. Or I guess it's afternoon now. It's after 12. But um, yeah, I'm just really, really tired. I'm ready for this baby to come. I'm ready to get my body back. I know I'm not going to be sleeping as good when the baby comes either, but... 
it's really tough to get a good position with this big belly. <laughs> this week I had my 37 week doctor's appointment, so I'll tell you about that. I went into my appointment, again, they took my temperature on my forehead when I went to the office instead of the building, and they didn't tell me what my temperature was, but obviously it was fine. I went into the bathroom to leave a sample, and my goal was to beat the nurse back out into the waiting room because every time they catch me before I can go back into the waiting room and sit, and so I just kind of made it a little game. I go to the doctor's office way too often, I mean every week now. So I was like, I'm going to try and do this really, really fast so I can beat the nurse. So I like left my sample, did everything, whatever, head back, they didn't catch me, I got all the way to the waiting room, sat down, and literally, like, as I was sitting down, the nurse came and got me. <laughs> so I beat them, but only by a little bit. So we took my weight, and I'm over 150 now, I think I was like 151. I haven't weighed myself recently, but uh, last time I weighed myself, I think I gained like 26, 27 pounds, so I'll, I'm probably around there. They took my blood pressure. I was a little nervous to see how it would be because last week it was a little elevated. Um, and so they took my blood pressure and you guys, it was the best blood pressure probably in all of my pregnancies combined. So it was awesome. I felt so good about that. Um, it was great. Uh, so I went to the room. I had to get undressed from the waist down. For some reason they had me do another group B swab test. I'm assuming it's because my test, the results must have not been clear. Um, I should have asked and I don't know why I didn't, but I will ask when I go next week to my next appointment and figure all that out. So we did that and then she measured my belly, she actually measured it this time, and said that I was actually uh, measuring like 37 and a half weeks, so baby was measuring a little bit ahead. but. Still basically on track. We did the Doppler so we could hear the heartbeat. And it was lower this time. It was like 142, 143. Usually his heartbeat is like 153, so he must have been like sleeping or resting. He wasn't that active during the appointment when usually he is. Um, she also asked me if um, I wanted a cervix check, which I did. Um, I was just curious to see if I was dilated at all. He has been so low for the past couple weeks and I've been having Braxton Hicks here and there and I've been having like crampy feelings here and there and so I was like I'm sure I'm probably like a one or a two centimeter dilated. So she checked me and she was like okay I definitely feel his head like he's as low as he's gonna get. He's not gonna get any lower until birth. So that was good to hear. Um, of course he is head down. We did figure that out last appointment. But she said I am not dilated at all. I'm not thinned. I'm nowhere near being close to labor. And I was honestly shocked at this. I thought for sure I was going to be a lot further than that. In fact, I was so thick and closed off that usually she checks every week if you want. Um, and she told me I don't have to get undressed next week because there's no point in checking me because uh, she doesn't think anything's really going to change within a week unless I'm feeling the symptoms that say otherwise she will check me if I want her to but she doesn't think it's necessary and honestly if you've ever had a cervix check they are not fun to have so I am totally fine with skipping next week's check but it's just funny that I am so not even close at she doesn't even want to check me next week. So it was good to like get that information because I was totally feeling a different way. I thought I would be farther than this. Unfortunately for me, that just means I'm going to be pregnant a lot longer. Um, I had to be induced at 41 weeks with Grayson. He was not coming on his own. And so I had to have help from the hospital. And my doctor seems to think that this baby might be the same way. My mom had to be induced. Um, with her second pregnancy she went like 10 days over so and she went overdue with me as well when I, and I was the first pregnancy that she had so I think it just runs in my family that I'm destined to have another late baby which is fine I'm just sick of my body aching from being pregnant but I understand that I mean, I don't want to induce my body when I'm not ready for it because I heard those are the worst kind of inductions. 
I had a great induction last pregnancy. Um, I was already dilated to like a two or a three, so I think that helped. So hopefully by the time if I do have to be induced, I'm at least do I'm at least dilated a little bit to make it like faster and easier on me. So we will see, but anyway, we ended the appointment. I scheduled my next appointment for next week, uh, next Tuesday, and it'll be my 38 week appointment, but I don't think there's gonna be much going on because I'm not getting undressed and getting checked. So we'll just measure and listen to heartbeat and kind of get a game plan, I think, of how thir the 39 week appointment's gonna turn out. So stay tuned for that. Back to symptoms for me. I have been shedding hair like crazy lately. Um, every time I brush my hair, I have tons of hair that's falling out and it's just kind of surprising because usually that doesn't happen until after you have the baby. Um, but I have been noticing that. Baby is moving a lot still. He gets the hiccups all the time and um, he, he is kicking all the time. He's kicking my cervix, which hurts and he's also kick well I guess he'd be punching my cervix or his head or something since he's head down and then he's like kicking up near my rib area he's still doing big movements I need to try to catch them like on camera um, so I can show you guys because he is just rolling like crazy in there but it's good it's good to know that he's healthy and active I have started to pack my hospital bag this week I will be doing a video of what's in my hospital bag I've got it nearly pretty much done. Anthony needs to add his clothes and then of course there's last minute things that I need to put in there such as um, our insurance card just because I bring that to every doctor's appointment so I need to wait on that. Um, I need to pack like toiletries like um, toothbrush, toothpaste and those things I'm using right now. But um, everything else I have pretty much in there. I've got everything for baby and just like robe and nipple cream and different things for me so I will be um, making a video of that so stay tuned don't mind my hunched over right now um, my belly is hurting from sitting here this long and this position just really helps relieve the pain I just have a lot of pain like on the top of my belly um, and like I said in a previous update, I can't remember if it was last week or the week before, but my belly sometimes gets like numb at the top and it's not like alarming, it's just weird because like I'll be itching it, but it's like I can kind of feel it, but then kind of can't. <laughs> I do have stretch marks. I've had stretch marks since my first pregnancy, um, just like all along my belly. I started to get some above my belly button, so that's kind of new. I have been putting lotion on it on my belly every week. It's kind of cute. Grayson likes the lotion too. He just puts it on his hands. I put it on my belly and he actually helps put it on my belly too. He's such a good helper. I don't think it really helps, but it does help my belly from being itchy from stretching. I remember from my first pregnancy towards the end, I got very itchy because my belly was stretching. Um, and so I would have to put on lotion a lot to help with that. This pregnancy, I have not been experiencing that, probably because my belly's used, like, it was already stretched out this far once, so it's not that big of a deal, and, um, it's more used to it, I guess. Like I said earlier, I have been feeling crampiness here and there. Um, like last night in the middle of the night, one of the times I went to the bathroom, I came back and laid down, and I was feeling really crampy. And it just feels like period cramps, but it's not like contraction-like because it's not like it comes and goes and comes and goes. It's just like cons consistent crampiness feeling. So I don't feel like it's like Braxton Hicks or labor or anything. I think it's just like my uterus stretching. Um, and so I do get those cramps here and there. I do get Braxton Hicks here and there, although this week I haven't noticed it as much. It's just been like very few and far between. Like I'll go a couple days without feeling a Braxton heck. So that hasn't been too bad this week. Let me show you my belly shot. Now again, I do have my belly band on, but I thought maybe I'd show you what mine looks like and so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like being this pregnant, I guess. Okay, so here's my belly. Sorry, my camera's like super high up this week, so you're just gonna have to deal. But here's, this is my belly band, the black. This is my belly. 
Um, it helps, it wraps around my back and then it also wraps over my top of my belly and it just like lifts everything up and gives um, a break for my back from carrying all this weight, especially because he's so low that he, I think it just puts a lot of strain on my spine because it's constantly dealing with this low pull. I've been really craving donuts this week. Um, of course, I always crave sweets in general, but for some reason it's been donuts. This whole pregnancy has really been ice cream, but just this past week it's been donuts. Donuts with like heavy icing <laughs> and a lot of sprinkles. Very specific, I guess. I feel like I haven't been as hungry lately. Um, sometimes I won't like eat. I mean, I'm always hungry for lunch, I feel like, but dinner is like a hit and miss. Sometimes I only want like a bowl of um, Cheerios and sometimes I want like a full meal. It just kind of depends, but lunch I'm usually always hungry. And again, I don't really snack that often. Um, if I do, usually I get like the munchies at like 9 o'clock at night after dinner and like right before I go to bed. I've been really thirsty lately. I've been drinking a lot and I've been peeing a lot. It's crazy the amount of toilet paper we go through. Thank goodness the toilet paper is back in stock now because I go through so many rolls because of all the peeing that I do. So I think that's all for this week. It's kind of a longer vlog anyway. Um, stay tuned for next week. I'll have my next doctor's appointment and more info on how I'm feeling and hopefully I um, keep surviving until this baby comes. So uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!